it's your girl Lala the Sassy Adventurous here and today I want to talk about the five types of Korean boys that you will meet in Korea. Mr. I just want the booty. I think the name is self-explanatory. I'm sorry to inform you ladies but there's a whole lot of Korean boys out here who are Mr. I just want the booty. Mr. Give me the booty. Okay there's a lot of them running around here and unfortunately that's just the way it is. Just as tight have the idea that all four women are easy to get with um, or they just really fetishize, fetish, fetish, Fettuccine, <laughs> fetishize, fet, God damn it. fetishize black women. Um, a lot of them do, and I, that's just the cold, hard, hard, honest truth about it. I see a lot of people don't really talk about it, but uh, you know, I'm gonna talk about it. I don't care. I'm Lala. I say whatever I want. Yes, I know it's a little hard because I know some women just ain't looking for that. You know, they want the real stable relationship and. This type ain't gonna give it to you, okay? They're gonna say any and everything to get into your pants, boo. Like, I've heard all kinds of lines. I was out this one time, I was at this club, and this Korean boy, he looked real dorky, you know? Kinda short, kinda pudgy, got little glasses on and shit. He starts trying to talk to me and stuff. He invites me back to his table. The very next weekend, we ended up going on a date. He took me out to this very nice, um, um, sushi, like Korean style sushi restaurant. So we having this awesome time and he takes me to the beach and we're sitting on the beach, it's completely deserted, it's empty, it's nighttime and it's just, just us sitting there talking and listening to the waves and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm having like a, a genuine connection with this guy, you know what I mean? He ain't look, he ain't all that, you know, he's like a, he like a five out of ten or whatever, but you know, I could look past it, he's a nice guy, he's a nice guy. This guy, I like this guy. Okay, the date is over, I had a great time. Can't wait to see him again. Maybe, you know, have another date. I'm like, okay, well, I'll see you later. And he's just like, what you mean, I'll see you later? Well, I mean, we've been out all night. Like, the date is over. Uh, Please explain, cause we about to go to Love Motel. Jesus, take the wheel. I was so frustrated. I was so frustrated because I was like, I went out of my way to dress like a grandma so he didn't get those vibes from me that I, I'm just one of those girls. Mr. Friendzone. I want to express my frustration with Mr. Friendzone. Mr. Friendzone is a man who friendzones his own damn self. You know, the friendzone is just like this big, just black hole of perpetual nothingness that you just cannot escape from. Basically, Mr. Friendzone just jumps right in. He jumps right in, just dives, just you. He's too scared to make a move. You can tell he's scared. He just stands on the other side of the room and just giggles at you. And I feel like that's Korean flirting 101, you just keep giggling at each other back and forth until eventually somebody starts talking. So many times like I'll be standing in a club and a Korean guy will just like tap on my shoulder and just doing like this, like <laughs> this, this, what? Are you, are you trying you trying to buy me a drink? Boys and the girls just be giggling and, and waving and, and, and playing footsies and shit. I'm 26, like I don't have time for that. I got hoes in different area hoes and you, come on, we got we gotta keep it rolling. I just like just the man that just, just grab me up. Mr. I just wanna have fun. Now there's a couple I just wanna have fun type of Korean boys running around here. And baby, when I tell you that at least 90% of the time, ain't nothing gonna happen, ain't nothing gonna happen, okay? I'm sorry. He is with you because he is interested in the fact that you are not Korean. He is interested in the fact that you are ethnic, black, white, whatever color you are, whatever, as long as you're not Korean, that's the reason he's interested in you. It's, it's fun, it's exciting to him. If you think he's gonna take you home to your mama, you are wrong, okay? You are wrong as two left feet. Once the fun wears off from you, girl, he is moving 
on to the next foreign girl or he's going right back to the Korean girls. You need to just ball that idea up and throw it out the window. The next type of boy I like to call Mr. Swag. Mr. Swag only cares about all things black. All he cares about is black culture, black music, black women, hip hop. That's all he cares about. You can choose to entertain it if you want to. Um, for me, I'd rather have somebody like me not because I'm black or not because I'm a foreigner, but because they like me, like I'm a nice person and I'm cool, you know, like, okay, I'm black, so what? You know, I love being black, that's cool, but there has to be something more in the picture. You know, I, I just, you know, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, okay? <sighs> I crack my own damn self up. Mr. Love You Long Time. To love you long time is the guy that you really want to just go ahead and end up being with if you want a relationship. Now, if you want to thought around, by all means, go ahead and stick with Mr. I Want the Booty. Um, I ain't judging you, girl. I've just, I've had my thought moments. That's the boy who doesn't care. He doesn't care that you're a foreigner. He doesn't care that you're different. He just wants to be with you, okay? He doesn't he doesn't care um, that you're not like the Korean girl. He doesn't want you to be someone that you're not. He wants you to be exactly who you are, how you are the moment that he met you. He will bring you home to his family and he'll be like, yep, this is my girlfriend, I'm proud of her. He's gonna take you to meet all his friends. He's gonna be like, yep, this is my girlfriend, I'm proud of her. So I hope you like this video. Definitely feel free to leave me suggestions in the comments